leadership today uh, comes in many different forms. And um, I want to talk on this one about what I consider is a, as a positive, empowering kind of a leadership, which um, there are some fundamental uh, approaches that I believe a, a, a leader that empowers others to succeed and wants others to succeed, the way in which that leader handles himself. And I, I just will say, I do consider myself a leader uh, in the things that I'm involved in. Uh, I consider myself a mentor and I'm still a student in many ways and and, and how to get things done. Uh, but there are some basics that I I think are wrapped into uh, what the kind of leadership that I'm talking about, uh, the characteristics of that leader will have. And I'm going to list out those. I'm going to list three basics. I can, I can give you many characteristics, but I want to focus on three and just share with you uh, at least one person's perspective about leadership. And, um, and you can draw on the, the characteristics that I'm going to give you and contrast that against other forms of leadership which will will uh, not complement the things that I'm going to say and you'll kind of understand that by me not talking about those forms of leadership I'm saying that I don't necessarily agree with those forms of leadership so but I'm not going to uh, this 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 talk isn't about me saying what not to do so first thing as a leader I believe a leader uh, starts off and has self-control, self-discipline, self-determination, self-preservation, and cares deeply about what they do themselves, okay? So I, I believe in principle, lead by example in whatever area of work or the practice you want to do, and, and I believe in the leader, number one, on their own they have it together, uh, they have a program together, that doesn't mean they have all the answers, but they can manage themselves, they can give themselves a schedule um, to to be able to do things, okay, that's point number one. Number two, leader uh, has the desire to empower other people, this is a big one, from my perspective, because I, you know, the leader not only can take care of themselves, but when given on the responsibility of other people, they have a, a, a deep desire. They care about other people. That leader wants the person in front of them to grow and to be empowered uh, and to, to, um, take on new challenges for them for that person and to help that person to figure out where they can be in their own leadership path or in their own uh, path of career progression or their own path of uh, sports accomplishment or personal improvement accomplishment a leader cares and empowers people the third characteristic uh, that I believe is important is a leader is listening and aware of their surroundings and taking it in, taking things in what they, they need to listen to and they're, they're kind of adapting or learning from continually as a student. Remember I mentioned I'm a student as well. Always learning observing that that's the key, that's the sum up word a leader is observant of what is happening around them that does not mean that the leader goes and gets involved in many things that they see happening no but a leader i believe does have to have a listening ear to anyone around them to to positive feedback to negative feedback to neutral feedback any type of feedback that comes in, the leader at least has to be receptive to observe and, 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 and listen to what's going on, especially listening to their people that they're leading, listening to uh, alternative approaches potentially. Uh, if if there there's a challenging thing ahead that needs to be taken care of. So 
those three characteristics, one, self-discipline, self-determination, able to walk on their own independently, leading by example. That's number one. Number two, wanting and trying and doing, empowering others, wanting others to succeed and not be not be held back by the leader. I mean, the, the leader wants other people to go out and grow and be the best person they can be. And number three, a leader is someone who's observant of things going around uh, and listening to to the indicators, to signals when they need to. And that leader, with those three characteristics and a host of other ones I could list, but I'm not going to list those here. I believe those are three attributes uh, from my perspective that are, represent true leadership in an individual that is, is empowering other people, that is taking care of themselves and is listening and will and approachable and, and willing to listen to others and where necessary adapt and adjust and change and keep going um, and, and, and facing each new day um, with a positive mental attitude.